everybody. We are back, and today we are with. I am opening up four more DIY moon shops that I have. Two of them will be Civil Art, and two of them will be Mia Thomas. I hope you enjoy this. My first one is actually going to be Mononoke from Civil Art. It is. And I have lost my information. Where did it go? It is 18 inches by 25.6 inches or 45 centimeters by 64 centimeters. This one I actually got in a round and I really... Princess Mononoke is one of my favorite show movies of all time along with Spirited Away. So I have a tendency to get anything, a lot of diamond painting stuff that's from them or from that sh movie. And so, this one, I really was excited for when I found it. And it was very cute. I liked it. So, this is going to be Princess Mononoke from Civil Art. And Civil Art has, um, some interesting pictures. They're, they're, they're rather interesting. Very, it's a very different art style than what I'm, than I usually go for. But they do have a lot of pictures that I, that I like. So... We go for it. Oh, and this canvas feels different than the Shirioki ones that I did. This feels thicker, more like plastic. Why does the canvas always change texture and quality? This makes no sense. Oh. Okay. I, I'm not even, I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like Diamond Art Club, or DIY Moon Shop needs to... And they need to get their, their canvas quality consistent. This is, uh, this is rather frustrating. That Every time I open a, a box, I never know what type of quality I'm going to get. This is, uh, frustrating. So, we now have Mononoke by Civil Art. This is the 45 centimeter by 64 centimeter. I got it in round. And I think it's actually going to look really, really good. You can see she has her traditional red marking. She has her knife. And she's even got one of the little wisp people on her head. I think it's a very cute picture. I absolutely adore it. It has 38 colors and one AB, which is a red, which is the S symbol. So that's going to be all of these. These are where all the ABs are going to be. That's cool. So they made her red marks the the ABs. So this is her color palette. And like I do with most all my unboxings, I don't bother to open them because I'll open them when I do them. And right here you can see the AB. Not a whole lot, but of course there's not a whole lot that needs to be on here. Uh, basic toolkit. I don't know why I got tweezers with a round, but I did. But, uh, it's going to go in my tool kit, kit box. And we're going to roll this one back up and open the next one. And I can't wait to work on this. I have several Mononoke pictures. Um, I have two from DIY Moon Shop. I have one from Diamond Art Club. Um, I want to say I have another one, but I may not. This is Yuna. By Civil Art. Now, Yuna I got in a 16 by 40 inch or 40 by 100 and set 101 centimeters. I put it, I got it in rounds. And the main reason I got it in rounds is because a lot of the art in it is very round in shape and, and swoopy. But this particular picture was different for me to get. Um, it's not my usual art style, and I don't think I'll ever get any of the other girls that they, that, that Civil Art puts out like this, but for some reason, this particular picture, I absolutely adored and wanted to have, and will eventually display when I get done working on it. It is on my list to work on next year. 
it'll probably be one of my projects that I work on through the most of the year because of the size. But this is Yuna by Civil Art. And I just think it's a very, very nice picture. And for some reason it just struck my fancy and I, I just had to have it. This is a very big picture. The canvas, I don't know, the canvas is weird. Typical toolkit, going in my toolkit box. I just wish, I wish DIY Moonshelf could get their canvases um, to all be consistent. This is a little bit softer than the other one, but not much. I don't feel like fighting with this the whole time, so I'm going to roll it backwards. There we go. Alright, so. Oh, this is going to be really, really pretty. I really like this. Not sure exactly where I would hang it. It'll probably wind up in my room. But I like this. I like... The reason, the reason I chose to do this in round is because you have all these round swoops here. And the shapes of things is very round. It's not... It doesn't have a lot of angles, so a lot of it, the stuff is curves. So I, f I felt like from the renderings and stuff, I felt like the round would actually look better. And from the looks of it, it looks like that's what's going to happen. I really, really like this. The color palette does have a lot of pink for my liking, but it also has a lot of bl uh, reds and these very, very pretty blues that I like. So, I'll deal with that. It does have, how many do we have here? It has 38 colors and 1AB, which is J, which is, okay. So, they have the, the J, the red AB, they have it mixed in with all of, with a bunch of the red. It's mixed into her swirls. It's mixed into her dress down here. It's mixed into her headband. Um, she does have a few on her lips. So I think overall this is going to be a very beautiful picture. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun working on it. It's going to be interesting to work on. Because the way I usually work on pictures is I go to the halfway point. Roll it up. And then I flip it and work on the other one. This is, might be a little bit longer for my normal way of working. I might have to think of something else. I have to figure it out. But I really like this one. I love the color palette. It is a little bit more pink than what I would usually like, but I think I'm going to still love the overall look. So this is the last one that I have from Civil Art. I, did, I don't know if I will be getting any more Civil Art. It just depends on what they put out. A lot of their art isn't my, isn't my style. Part of me, part of me likes DIY Moon Shop's new boxes, but another part of me doesn't because they don't, they don't stay together very well. And I don't know if that's because they get damaged in shipping or, or what, but part of me is not the biggest fan of the new boxes. Like, I like having a box to put them in, but I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of them. So... This next picture we are working on, looking at, is actually one of the last ones that I got from uh, Nia Thomas. This is Daybreak. Uh, I initially wanted it on release, but couldn't afford to get it, so I got it at a later date when um, things were on sale. And managed to catch it for not quite as good as the initial release price, but I did manage to catch it for a decent price. I made it to where I was able to get it. And I really like this one. It is a very pretty picture. And I've totally forgotten to tell you the size. And I don't remember the size. What size was this? This is 31.6 by 24 inches. Or 79 by 60 centimeters. And I got it in squares. 
I am currently working on Mia Thomas's, uh, one of the, her other ones. I forget the name of the picture, but it's the one with the girl with the red dragon on her, her shoulder. I'm working on that one, and it is, um, I have di I've got that one in crystals. So that, that's been interesting. Now, the, this canvas feels soft, like the Shiryuki ones did, and unlike the Civil Art ones, Golly, I don't understand why there's such a variant in canvas feel. I don't understand. I don't understand why the quality of the canvas just keeps changing every time I open a new picture. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I love Nia Thomas's art. She has some of my favorite art. And the toolkits. Of course. The toolkit is not in its bag. It is just thrown in here. And uh, not in the bag it should be. And the, the tweezers are off of the, the, the covers are off of the tweezers. Uh, all right. It is a little bit scrunched, but I think that's just because of how they packaged it. Um, I'm not sure why there's rubber bands on the beads. That's a first. But I do love the color palette of this. This, this picture has a very, a very beautiful color palette. I love all the purples and the, the, the pale, uh, like peach colors those i like i think this is going to be very pretty once it's done um it does have 36 colors no ab's yeah i think this was before they started putting ab's in the kits automatically but it does not have any ab's the canvas feels very symbol very similar to the shiryuki ones it's a very nice canvas uh, I like it. I love the, the color palette. The color palette is very nice. I'm still trying to figure out why it had rubber bands around it, but I, I don't know. I, I don't understand why, but whatever. But I love, I think this is going to be, this is going to be pretty once it's done. It is a very beautiful square picture and the, the symbols look really clear. Uh, this is gonna be some. This is gonna be a joy to work on. I think. I hope so. Anyways. So we are done with this one, and we'll move on to my last Nia Thomas one, and then that'll be the last one for this video. All right. So my last picture for today is called Crimson Lily by Nia Thomas. I got this one in a twenty-four by thirty-five point two inch. Or a 60 by 85, 88 centimeter, and I did get it in squares. So let's go ahead and open this one up. I'm really looking forward to this one because this this picture does have that really nice and vibrant. So this one has that nice, really pretty red dress that I absolutely love. And um, I think it's going to be very pretty. I'm looking forward to seeing the color palette. Alright, so this is... Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I already love the red. Oh, yeah. I like this. This one's going to be very pretty. Yeah, you can come over and look at it. I know you're going to like this. Yeah. And I like the red already. Yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so this one has 39 colors. It has one AB, which is going to be like a purplish color from the looks of it. Um, Looks like they'll have it right here. Yeah, it looks like the, the, the AB is going to be more like in the background type of thing. 
But this is very, very pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. And apparently my munchkin likes it too. Okay. I know, be quiet for just a second, so then I gotta wrap it up. So, this is a lot of what the color palette looks like. It is a kind of darker color palette, but I like that. I tend to like my color pictures darker. <laughs> just that way. This canvas feels very stiff, very similar to the, the one that uh, the Jeremiah Morales ones did. They, they, sound, they feel very stiff like that. Which is quite the contrast compared to the other one, but it is what it is. But everybody, for me, for today, this is all. I appreciate you guys coming and watching me unbox these. I, I know my unboxings are a little bit different, but this is how I like to do it because I prefer not to... I prefer not to beat around the bush. Everybody knows the toolkit. Everybody can look at the beads. I'm not opening all the beads because you and I just don't like doing that until I'm actually going to kit them up. But thank you all for being here today. I hope you enjoyed it. All my links to everything are in the description. I hope you all follow me there if you enjoy gaming and that type of thing. And uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I will see you next time. Bye.